What is going on, Alpha Hunters? Hope everybody is having a very tubular Tuesday. Uh, the market's having a very kind of mellow you know, Tuesday. It's not much going on today. A uh, little bit of a gap up here on the SPY is about 0.2% or so. Yeah, it was about a 0.2% gap up there on the SPY. And you can see we didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, we kind of just chopped sideways there. A little bit of a pump for about 15 minutes, but I mean, it didn't really go too far. And then we just kind of went sideways there for a few hours, a little bit of a rise and kind of a little bit of a drop there the past 30 minutes. But yeah, I mean, all in all, just uh, the base of the low to high, which has been hit in the past 30 minutes, has been roughly within one third of a percent. So a really, really small day today so far. Typically when we have small days coming into this hour, we will have some pretty good price action movement in the last two hours. So I would expect something to probably move a little bit more here in the last two hours. Whether that's Wolf or Bearish, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, a nice little uh, pop there. Last 30 minutes yesterday, hardware as we went into close. And then we had earnings. So let's just uh, let's go and just keep moving around. We'll see what we can find that's importante. Q's a little bit of a higher open, not as high as the <laughs> SPY, still gapped up, but I mean very minor, not even a 0.1% gap up there. So yeah, pretty pretty quiet gap there on the Q's. Yeah, pretty quiet day. All right, that's Q's. IWM looking pretty good here, uh, up 0.4%. It's been up more than that, obviously. Let's see how high did it get for the day? It did get up about 0.8%, so that's looking uh, pretty good there. Uh, intraday, a nice little run there for the first couple of hours on the IWM. Looking pretty good there. I did, uh, not the IWM, uh, the DIA. Yeah, kind of just choppy. Nice little very steady slow drawdown here the mid-morning time frame. Never quite got negative, I would say about 10 minutes ago or past 5, 10 minutes. Almost got ne negative, did not quite get there. <laughs> did not quite get there. And, um, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's not really too much going on there either. RSP looks kind of interesting. Uh, nice gap up here on the RSP. It's roughly a quarter percent gap up because we're up roughly a quarter percent. That's about where we opened. Uh, nice little trend higher here for the first hour and a half. And then it's kind of been slowly pulling back. Nice little rapid drop off there the past 30 minutes. Okay, so, yeah, not too much going on there on the RSP either. Yeah, you can see, I mean, we're just not really doing a whole lot. And this is a very interesting spot that we came to right at the bottom of that April 4th low, right? And that's exactly where we rejected, which would be a little bit higher than what I kind of wanted to be a little bit bearish, which is right here. But we have come up right into the bottom there of that April 4th low. So interesting. Um, so we have pushed a little bit higher than maybe some of the spots I kind of thought, but the RSP hitting into that spot. The DIA also has gotten a little bit, uh, a little bit farther ahead than what I thought it would, but we're not seeing a great deal of continued momentum. I mean, even yesterday, um, we'll see if it's like this for all of them, but you notice the pretty light volume here yesterday on a day that the market didn't move too much intraday all, all it really didn't right it's just kind of it's just, it was just more of a gap up and even here on the rsp not to say that that's like a low trading day for the rsp i mean we've had several other days it's kind of like lower on the volume but it wasn't it wasn't like a great volume day iwm also kind of a low volume day yesterday a little bit more of a a gap up yesterday than anything else. So, interesting look there on the RWM. Q's kind of a low, low volume day yesterday as well. Going all the way back to like these two low days back in kind of like mid late March. So, yeah, yesterday wasn't a lot of volume across a lot of these. I imagine the SPY is going to be about the same. Okay. Uh, SPY, SPY. As far as volume, yeah, it was kind of a low volume day. Also, not a not a big one, not a big one at all. You know, interesting. Even like back here when we were bullish, back in like February, early March, like I mean, we were having.
having volume days that were definitely higher than yesterday. So, yeah. Really interesting. We didn't really have much volume yesterday. Hmm. Kind of makes me think that if we come down, I mean, we could go right through like yesterday on the price action just because there's not, not a lot of volume there. All right. Um, so that's uh, kind of a quick look around those guys. The thing that's kind of concerned about yesterday was definitely that volume. VIX. VIX continues to pull down. All right. VIX continuing to pull down. DXY. Dollar bouncing a little bit today. Okay. Uh, I kind of thought we might have a little bit more consolidation. We did get a little bit of a doji action yesterday. Kind of thought maybe we'd get a couple more days like that. Uh, but we're seeing a bounce here. So this is going to be a very important thing to know here. It's obviously, we got the moving averages now coming down because we got below it. But we're also going to be retesting right into that low from two Fridays ago, Friday the 26th. And that's all about all that same area where those moving averages are. So kind of where we're getting to currently so we'll see how we close today and tomorrow uh, if we get through there maybe we'll just continue to bounce but not a bad spot if you're not liking the the dxy or the dollar not a bad spot to probably be looking to be bearish like that's looking like a pretty good area yeah i mean it looks like a pretty good area so there you go gld TLD. Okay. Not really doing a whole lot. Pulling back a little bit. I mean, dollar's a little bit bullish, but not much. Not much to say here. Just be bullish on any kind of dips. Yields. 10 year yield dropped off this morning. Uh, past couple hours has been rising a little bit. Okay. Be interesting to see if that happens, if that continues into the end of day. Uh, yeah, because we got to the lower end of this channel. So, obviously, if we break the lower end of that channel, then the channel is completely irrelevant. So, be interesting to see if, it, if this lower end of the channel holds. And we get back to going higher on, on yields. So, that would be interesting to see how that looks here over the next day or so. Let's take a look at the 30. Yeah, the 30 is not even close to breaking this channel. Okay. Now, what about the two-year... Wow, two years really just hanging out and not doing a whole lot. Okay. All right. So 10 and 2 inversion coming back down. All right. So we're going to chop sideways some more. Okay. HYG. Not really doing a whole lot. Has basically reversed from the gap up. Okay. Coming back down a little bit. It's ran pretty good here over the past few days. I mean, ever since uh, last Wednesday's gap down, it's ran pretty strong. For a few days. Okay. HYG. Uh, LQD. Let me put a line on this chart. Roughly through there. That would probably be a pretty important one. Maybe. Does this kind of look like anything? Not really. What if we do that? You could say it's kind of connected in there. A little bit. I still think. We could probably push a little bit higher here on uh, the LQD, but just because I, I don't want to totally dismiss like this little spot here. I mean, it's very possible that, I mean, we, we break back down and, and it, maybe this would be the resistance line, but I doubt it. So that's the look at the LQD. The other thing about the LQDs is right into the underside of these kind of support levels. I mean, that's, you know, kind of where we've been knocking our head here over the past couple of days. We just made it a little bit higher. Starting to kind of sell down from, from a little bit of a gap up today. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we look at that tomorrow. Uh, I believe tomorrow we also have 10 year yield auction, uh, note auction. Uh, TLT moving a little bit higher. Okay. TLT moving a little bit higher. All right. Hitting right into that 50 EMA. See if, see how high it climbs here. See how high it climbs. All right. Take a look at the sector rotation for the day. I already see something very interesting, but materials, real estate doing pretty well. Staples, healthcare, utilities, all outperforming on the day. So are financials and industrials. Interesting. Okay. 
underperformers. Uh, well, in line with the market is actually energies. It's just kind of mixed. Man, as we're really riding in with the market there. Barely see it. Energies also in line with the market there. All right, so tech communications underperforming, but look at discretionaries. Man, these they, like even the past hour and thirty minutes, they just really getting hit hard. Jeez. Okay. SP. Man, I mean, the X, pff, discretionary is really just getting. Getting sold today. I wonder if that's Amazon or Tesla. Both of them have been on some pretty good runs uh, from from their earnings, so I can understand some profit taking in, in those names. Uh, underperformers during the day, yeah. Even discretionary, you see how much they just continue to get hit during the day. And discretionary is underperforming. Tech also underperforming. Communications also underperforming. Really, over the past thirty minutes, they've, they've all three of these heavyweight sectors really have gotten hit pretty good. And, probably why the, the market trended down pretty good and you got energies and financials kind of in line with the market there you got staples healthcare industrials utilities outperforming and real estate materials outperforming to lead the day it's kind of wondering if we were getting some more follow-through action from last week but it doesn't really look like it not yet maybe we'll base gasoline kind of looks like it's trying to base here Heating oil, trying, yeah, this looks like it's basing, trying to start to push up. Okay, let me go back to crude oil. Crude oil, yeah, I remember, I remember these, these highs. So maybe this is where crude oil finds some support and push higher. 